All right, we are back in. All right, so uh, you guys uh, get back to the uh, um, office of Chickson, and uh, uh, he is ready to start uh, negotiating. Um, I think we decided Arcus going to do it because he has the best charisma. Okay. That's better gaming, right? <laughs> I'm sorry? So that's kind of better gaming, right? <laughs> It's a reaction, just he's just the most well spoken, I suppose. He can yeah. manipulate people the best. Can he? But he's a paladin. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't mean he can't. And none can... of us have the bargaining skill, so. Bra Brax is still going to butt in because he's a ship ship person. Even though he's been shut out of the uh, of the discussion about the Great Bombard. <laughs> All right, I just need to find my uh, reaction adjustment. There we go. <clears throat> Charts. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so um, he uh, um, he sits you down. He he opens up his uh, book and he goes through it. He says, "All right, so uh, you wanted the uh, the the two swan ships. I mean, I the 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 dolphin battle dolphin." Mm-hmm. And let's see. The uh the price on that is going to be eighty thousand gold pieces. That's ten thousand more than standard. What's the uh what's the reason for the markup? Well, you're getting uh premium uh arcane wear here. You can't get this just anywhere. Premium Campbell arcane wear? Ball. Is it made of special materials? It has the arcane guarantee on it. Uh, what's the arcane guarantee? That it's arcane quality. Well, what does arcane quality mean? That means you're not going to find anything better in any of the known space. Says every merchant ever, I laughed all butts in. You doubt the word of the arcane? Uh... uh... I don't know yeah, I doubt the art word of came, but it looks like a thousand gold piece ship to me. Maybe we could try seventy five thousand? Uh you forgot the dimension our ship. Uh, if we also trade in the uh Bard Vitar. And we got a rent. And we got this rent. I don't think oh, yeah. we have Hold on. We use that like you would money. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, how about 70,000? Yeah. Well, try, try that, um, I mean, this is, you're, you're not going to find a uh, uh, higher quality battle dolphin anywhere. Of course we're not, because I... that's, that's the quality of a uh, battle dolphin. That's, assuming it's uh, as described. That's the quality of the arcane. I, I, I suppose I could go down to uh, 69. Um, we would need to, to look at your your vessel uh, for, for trade-in Six, purposes. 69? No, uh, 79. Uh, <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I was going to say, yeah, no, 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 69. <laughs> 79. Thank you, for, thank you for pointing that out. We could go down to uh, uh, 79, I suppose. But it's a seventy thousand gold piece ship. Well, I mean, if you're uh, now, willing uh, to now, get inferior if... pr quality uh, workmanship somewhere else, you could definitely go someplace uh, else and. I, I'm that. I'm a I'm an expert on ship construction. If we bought a battle dolphin somewhere else and it wasn't up to scratch, we'd be asking for a discount. Well, now if there was something about the ship that was worth nine thousand pounds, uh, no, no, nine thousand gold he, pieces. You know. It, uh, rather than just the word of an arcane that it's uh, that it's good quality on full hit points, maybe we, we might be able to p pay above the uh, standard price of seventy thousand. Like I, if you threw I, in another weapon, I can't as a believe sweetener. that. I can't believe that you're uh, you're 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 doubting the uh, the the word of the arcane on their the quality of their workmanship and. Uh, I'm, I'm not doubting the word of the arcane. I'm not doubting the word of the arcane. Oh, you don't seem interested uh, in paying for it. 
Well, you see, if I get uh, a full hit point battle dolphin somewhere else, and I inspect it with my own eyes, and I see it's as good as the quality of the arcane workmanship here, why do I why do I have to pay nine thousand gold pieces? Well, I can when guarantee I have you. My own, I, but I have my own eyes that can guarantee another ship is uh, is as good as this one. I can guarantee you that you will not find a battle dolphin like this anywhere in the known spheres. What's special about it? It was. Yeah. What what was? Does it give us extra uh, maneuverability? It was rebuilt the... and refurbished by the arcane, sir. Does give us extra uh, maneuverability? Is it uh, withstand extra uh, damage from uh, shots that are fired at us? Does it? Uh, it has the guarantee. Uh, is it trimmed that... in gold. It has a guarantee that you will never need to replace any of the standard parts, so long as they are not damaged. <laughs> okay, that is a weird guarantee that I'm not sure will hold up, but okay. Well, I'll, I'll turn to everybody else, and I'll say loudly, and I'll say uh, to uh, James, who's, I guess, doing the main negotiating here, and I'll yeah. say... I don't know, if it sounds like the rest want of you to are doing the negotiation. <laughs> Well, well I, I can't figure out a way to get in edgewise because you guys keep going. <laughs> oh, well, you go ahead, James. Go ahead. You do your thing. Well, I was going to suggest maybe in... How would 75,000 sound? That's 5,000 extra. I know, yeah. but we're working... When you get a car, you, you, you have to work it down from theirs. Right, we're but, not going to well, get exactly wants, the listed wants, price. Hey, he starts high, you start low, because you want to pay, you want to pay as little as possible. If you start at 75, you're already starting higher than okay, what we okay. actually want to pay. I, I want to start okay. at 65 if you if you want to if you want to make that let's say 70, 73 or something somewhere around there, then start at 65 or even 60. Yeah, but you and already started that... at 75. Well, wait, wait. yeah, yeah let, we've already you guys already started at 70 before I could even talk. So. Yeah. Uh, what, what you do, James, is you say 65, and you have the uh, knowledge that it's being sold now as opposed to sitting around in your uh, storage uh, or your shipyard about, not being how sold. How about we try 65? It'll be a while before you get one of these sold. Not many people can muster up the money to buy a fine battle dolphin like that. It could be sitting in your shipyard for lords no, those long. But you already said 75. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I thought we were changing it. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll say to the recipe. All right. If you're not going to come down, then everybody let's leave. We'll. Uh, it'll cost us less money to go back to Brawl and uh, purchase uh, the battle dolphins they had there. Mm. Let's go. Now, 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 wait. This guy's wait. not one to sell anything. He just tried to peddle us. He, he insulted us by uh, trying to peddle off those uh, swan boats that he knows. A gift like me would feel extraordinarily cramped in. So uh, he's not really willing to sell us anything. Re real, Maybe real another quick, recipe would be better. <laughs> real, real quick side note. Yeah. Um, gift use uh, uh, swan ships. It's, it's genuinely saying. listed on the, the uh, um, ship usage. <sighs> You're ruining <really> old. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, why? The swan well, he's still so insulting us with the swan ships, which is clearly not what we asked for. So just just as a just as a, another good. side note, the the swan ship is actually a pretty good vessel, but it is much smaller than what you want. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a reason for it all, but um, he he uh, at at your intimation of uh, leaving, he's like, now now uh, there's there's no need to cut off negotiations right now. I mean, uh, that's that's what we're here for negotiations. I I suppose I could go down to uh, 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 your 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 price is seventy five. Now, if you have a trade-in, we'd definitely need to get it inspected before we could give you uh, an actual price on that. Yeah, I, I think feel... we're going to have to wait a day for you. Yeah, well, we'll want to have a look at the uh, ship as well. Yeah. And we can we can definitely arrange that. So you'd see the mm. fine, fine quality of the arcane workmanship. <laughs> Laughter gets the temptation to sell out Braxton, the fine, fine work, work carpets in Braxton. Um, do you think that's a 
Uh, no, I was joking. Uh, Braxton, do you think that's a fair markup or no? I mean, we're going to pay more for the... 5,000 gold p pieces for what are we getting? Mm. That's a guarantee. Uh... We're getting a guarantee that uh, if something breaks, not in combat. And uh, I mean, this is this is uh, then going to have an insurance argument. So if I don't know. So if a mask broke off the uh, battle dolphin shell, then uh, we're going to come back and we're going to say the mask broke, and they're going to go, "What were you doing?" You know, are uh, we really going to come all the way back here to claim on our five thousand gold piece insurance policy for a broken mast? I think in that case we just repaired ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So we have the ability to do this. Is that we're being asked to pay five thousand gold pieces for something that is not really of use to us. Well, I guess in some way they still have to make a profit off the deal. They have to make a profit. They could make a profit selling this ship for 70,000 gold pieces, which is what everyone else sells it for. Uh, yeah, if, 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 you go uh, against, uh, if you go against a, a professional tradesman and merchant, you, he will always get a profit. And yeah. if, you get to the, if you get to the point where he doesn't make a profit anymore, he will walk away. Well, yeah, I already You have to be aware. If you go bargaining, then you start as low as possible. Yeah, I already kind of screwed that up. I'm not very good at this IRL. I found. Well, it. I, I, I won't worry about it. We can, we can, we can walk away from this, and he'll come and get us. Yeah. Especially if, if, if he this changes part. his mind. Mm -hmm. Now, now, if he wanted extra money above the 70,000, but he was going to do something like throw in a ship weapon, which has a cost, then we would be paying for the ship plus whatever weapon we want on the shuttle. Yeah. So if, if he was making that sort of argument, then we would be giving him the work rather than giving someone else the work. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm assuming okay. right now you're you're doing a, a huddle out of his earshot. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So, how about this, um, James? Uh, maybe shoot in um, something like uh, seventy one thousand and. Or how much do weapons run old? Like a medium ballista or something? Uh. Well, keep in mind that it has medium ballista on it right now. Uh, no, I meant for uh, for the shot. For, yeah, for like um, six hundred. Six hundred. And add uh, another thousand on top of that for a turret, so it can rotate. Because I figured we want to, we, since it's going to be the only weapon on that, we'd want it on a turret so we can cover all angles. Well, Sounds tell me, good. Well, tell me what you want me to say when we're all held up. All right. Uh, do like um. I would say something like, uh, um, I don't think we can go below 75,000, though. I, I don't think. think we can go below 75,000 because I yeah, accidentally okay. already asked that. Well, we'll just walk away. Uh, it would seriously cost us less money to drive all the way back to, uh, Brawl <laughs> and buy one of their battle dolphins. Um, so yeah, I mean, like... the, only, the only problem we've got going away from here is we've got that rip from the arcane. Which we can only use yeah, somewhere like here. That's why we keep yeah. here in the first place. He's a red. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, uh, do maybe like a seventy-one thousand plus uh, a medium blister. And turn. So awesome. yeah, I guess I'll turn a, maybe seventy-one thousand and the price of a medium blister on top of that. Or plating, or something like that. No, do seventy-one thousand for the ship plus. Uh, they throw on a medium ballista. That's why. Do that. A medium ballista onto the shuttle. Turret. He, he, he will just tell you that uh, that we already said seventy-five. So if what you could say is yes, you did mean seventy-five, but you actually uh, meant to because you went uh, you couldn't finish your sentence uh, you, you you meant to say that this would include a, a, what was it a ballista and blah 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 yeah let's, ballista. Not, let's not forget that he said 69 
<laughs> yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. if, if, if we heard him say 69, then he can unhear us say uh, 75. Right, but so <laughs> DM prerogative, <laughs> I, I genuinely did mean to just go down 1,000. Yeah, I'm, and, and so you, you, just, you heard him go down 1,000. Not can I say that 11, uh, you didn't let me test my test before when I said 75. I wanted 75 and to have a medium ballista turret installed onto the shuttle for the Battle Dolphin. Oh, uh, after market uh, weapons, uh, those are upstairs. We don't handle those down here. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> In that case, you can go for 71. Yeah. And that's because we like you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm, well, um, hmm. That's. Uh... I'll tell you what. If you make it 71, I'll let you take me on a tour around your swan ships. <laughs> but you wouldn't be interested in purchasing them, having already spent what I would assume you is. Might purchase them the next time we come money. back. Next time we come back. No, no, no. But you seem you seem so proud at showing them, and uh, I do love a ship. I make them, you know. We may, so we, may repair them. we may suggest one of our friends or profitable clients from our adventures to come and get one. You're investing in us. Mm. We deal with plenty of important figures from Brawl. Plenty of wealthy figures. Well, uh, hmm. We may suggest one of them to come to here and check out your swan ships. You don't need to take me around the swan ships. It's only if you like them. I, I like them for the money that they will bring me when I when I sell them. Ah, uh, you see, I like ships because they're beautiful things that fly through wild space. I, I, I thought he they're would... wonderful pieces of engineering. Oh, and, would... and a swan ship is is wonderful, wonderfully engineered. Uh, uh, just about everyone who uh, uh, flies on them would... likes them. I thought mm. he would. I thought he would have a reaction to me offering to ad advertise this place to to our wealthy clients from Brawl. Well, the problem is is that basically everyone knows about the arcane on Refuge. <laughs> it's like, I mean, he he's he's the arcane salesman here. So when you were when you were talking about uh, uh, not undercutting undercutting the arcane, it's it's not under undercutting this guy because he's the salesman. Mm. He's an employee. He did sound like he sort of accepted the price. Why don't we check it up a bit closer and let him finish talking? Yeah, mm. let's let him finish talking. I suppose we could accept the 71,000. Uh, now, we will need to get an inspection of your vessel before we can assess it for a trade-in, and you did wish to... Uh, perform an assessment on the Battle Dolphin, which is perfectly understandable, although I guarantee you, you will find no problems whatsoever with the workmanship. It is mm -hmm. arcane guaranteed, after all. Hey, Ald, yep. uh, as a DM, when he was saying that, was he s suggesting that uh, the price of the ship be 71000 after we gave him our other ship, too? No, or that he before would trade it. Before. That's before, before the trade, the trade yeah. Okay. So, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. That you didn't catch us on something. No, no. Um, okay, thank the, you. That, that's basically the, um, you know, and then the actual amount that you will pay is, would be deducted from that. Uh, I mean, the, the, the trade-in would be deducted from that. And then. And we should probably tell the guy where we have the ship docked so that they can take a look at it. Yeah. Um, well, uh, let's see. I need to check with my uh, inspectors. Uh, if you'll give me just a moment. And I can set up a, a time for you to come visit uh, uh, the Battle Dolphin as well. That's I shall be good. right back. So he uh, he steps away from you and heads uh, out of the office. And uh, after a couple minutes, he says, uh, we will need about two hours uh, inspection time. Could we uh, do that about right now? That's yeah. fine. I'm That's yeah. fine. Our crew will so, be there, um, but I'm sure they'll allow you. Well, we'll go with them to let, let them yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with he's, them. He's on board, allowed on board. Well, um, I can I can have someone take you to inspect the uh, uh, Battle Dolphin right now as well. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay so, uh, how's it going to work with uh, our request for a ballista and uh, a turret? We have to talk to the guys upstairs. Yeah, but is he going to give us a credit note towards that? Or, or is he asking us to pay seventy-one and to pay for that separately? Yeah, yeah that's separate. That's you, like... you, you need to talk to them upstairs. We don't handle that down here. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to talk to them upstairs once we're done taking a look at the ship. Okay. Uh, is anyone else going to go with uh, Braxton to inspect the ship, or not? Laptop? I don't think any of us are interested. Uh, do they sell any, like, bench? Do they have, like, yeah. pockets here and things? Or you are still incredibly quiet, G-Man. I can barely understand what you're saying. I've already bumped um, up your volume all the way. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was going to ask, do they have any, like, um, no weapons magic weapons here or an or and or potion shop here that's building? elsewhere this is uh this is all ship related gear here okay yeah there we would have to go back to the market for that we might be able to ask up here about ship weapons yeah i mean sh magical ship so weapons they they may have but uh this is this is they're selling uh ship and arcane uh goods here uh the arcane uh, we'll sometimes sell other things like, uh, um, uh, rare items and, and magical gear and stuff like that out, uh, uh, you know, beyond what they make themselves. Um, but that's usually elsewhere. This is, this is ship stuff here. Okay. I think we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I think I probably want to go with the inspection team just uh, the... Which, which one? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the they're one of our ship check, or... The mm. one that's going to go check out the parts just to make sure my wolf doesn't cause any trouble. Okay. okay. Oh, right, okay. So, uh, do I, you I, want again. to come look through the walls? <laughs> Wait, what? <Sure. laughs> okay, so Laftel and uh, Braxen are going to go inspect the uh, um, Battle Dolphin? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I'll escort the... Uh, I'll escort the Rastapede or whatever. Uh... I'll go with the Rastapede group. Okay. Uh, so Leva's going with uh, Laftel and Braxen. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll handle that first. Um, you uh, take another shuttle ride to the uh, dry docks, and uh, um, uh, you're guided there by another Rastapede um, who does not give his name. Uh, he seems pretty perfunctory in his... Uh, 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 you know, responses to you and stuff like that, and he basically just, you know, you ask him, uh, yeah, I'd like to see the, the bridge, and he takes you there, you know, basically without a, a word kind of thing. Do, do we have a chance to be off to one side uh, I don't need momentarily something. on the shuttle down? On the shuttle down, um, I mean, if you, you could whisper to each other. Yeah. Well, I can... I already know the premise of what you're thinking of, and I <laughs> look around. Yeah. By my X-ray ring to... Uh, look so... for obvious signs of... Uh, uh, Scheidenfreude. Or however it's said. Uh, shenanigans. Uh, they have uh, it's definitely obviously not, not uh, repaired... <laughs> They've obviously not repaired it as good as they say they have. Basically, as well as going at. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, go ahead and uh, give me a carpentry check DM roll, Braxton. Mm -hmm. And you're spending about uh, two hours inspecting it. Okay. Um, you cannot find any flaws in the workmanship. Um, it's, uh, quite good. Um, whether it quite matches up to the salesman's spiel, that's, eh, you know, kind of up in the air. But, uh, you definitely can't find any flaws in the workmanship. Uh, it looks, uh, um, top, top quality, good to go. Um, probably about as close to a new condition as you can get with a non-new, brand new ship. Hmm. <clears throat> Does it look like standard wood? 
So um, it's not new. No, it's not new. No. It's not new. No. Yeah. So um, the thing that uh, Braxton wanted to say to Leftall when he was on his own mm -hmm. is, uh, would I have been like... allowed to be by myself? Well, I said you could whisper. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just, just like I was suggesting with the pirate ship, if uh, there were any smugglers that had this ship, they might have hid something underneath the decks. Well, I would have had a. Uh, all right, all right. I look below decks for various anywhere that's bigger on the outside than it is on the inside. Um, are you kind of directing him to look at specific just... places, Braxy? Because I mean, that's that's a lot to like try and and look at the whole ship. That's yeah. You're talking about I'd many many uses of me. the ring. Yeah, um, I'd pick a few places that might be possible places, like like the place where we found uh, the hidden compartment before. All right, give me a uh, another uh, GM roll for carpentry. And then after all this, we're not going to find anything because there isn't Probably. anything. RNG, <laughs> you might give us someone if you get a really good roll. Don't jinx well, us. Plus, if we buy it, we can spend as long as we want looking. Well, let me put it this way. I already know what's there, so I wouldn't add <laughs> something in because you rolled really well. Yeah. Um, all right, so oh. uh, Braxton, you point out a few uh, places that you feel are likely for uh, hidden smugglers' compartments, and um, Laftel inspecting those, you do not find anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. No, it's hidden holy swords. Nope. <laughs> so you're you're uh, you're pretty satisfied with the work, oh. Braxton. Um, I mean, hang on, I've got an idea. I ploy. All right. I I asked Braxton, uh, could you distract him, like look at a wall or something? Okay. What are you doing now? <laughs> what? You're not. You guys yeah, aren't there. Sir. I know. Uh, is there um? Hmm. Is there anything so, in the loose that might fall down from a range? No. Oh. Uh, yeah, there, so there are no. There. there are you know. I mean, this is this is a bare bones ship. It has no personal equipment on board. It has no. Um, uh, I, I mean, it really doesn't even have the rigging because you wouldn't put the rigging on until it's ready to go. Um, there are basically no loose objects because those would all be brought on board by the crew. Basically, I was thinking about using my ring to make something for Dad to be, oh, that, that can't be sound. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure this ship's up to say? Yeah, that's what I was looking around for, basically. Anything that wouldn't compromise me too much, basically. If I have to, like, point all the way across the ring, that's really apparent, then no. Well, the thing is, it. is that, you know, you, 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 if it's there's nothing there, then it's fairly there. apparent to use the ring. Yeah, because right. it's like you know you have to like you know do a pushing motion with your hand if you're gonna if you're gonna push it, or a lifting motion with your hand if you're gonna lift it, or a yanking motion if you're gonna yank it. So you probably have to do that in a different room. Somehow, yeah. And then he I, might I, just I, think that you pulled it down with your hand anyway. Well, that's the whole point of me being away from that area by my ring, but. Uh, well, that, the other thing is you could let us walk through a doorway and stand behind us and make something fall down in front of us. Yeah. I'll just said that's so like nothing anyways that he could do that on. Well, I mean, if you wanted Suspicious to like really, activities. really yank on something, uh, you might be able to get it loose. How quickly can I put away my arm and, and undo it, so to speak? So to speak? Effect. Mm, you don't really know. I mean, you haven't used uh, the ring all that much. Ah. Uh. No, I'm not going to do it. No, it's done. Okay. You should have made it for. You should have made something land on Brax's head. <laughs> yeah, no, no, seriously, I was thinking that. I was like, is there not like any like chandeliers? But obviously, you don't have chandeliers. So I was thinking of candle holders, but they're going to be bolted onto the bloody. <laughs> We might have got a discount in compensation. Yeah, no, that's what I was trying to think of, you know, something to compromise the integrity of the ship. The problem okay. is, is it, it will kill it will kill Braxton, I'll be coming back no, next week as Kenda. 
I'll be coming back next week as a Kenda, and then Ash would leave. <laughs> Asher would so, kill you. What now? <laughs> he would kill you, then get you reincarnated. Why would I kill him? He was joking that he'd come back as a Kender. Oh, yeah, I would. <laughs> he'd fire you out a great bombard, so he's like the best of both worlds. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, as far as you can tell, Braxton, um, the, uh, workmanship is, uh, high quality, um, mm -hmm. uh, not rare materials in it, but certainly not substandard materials mm -hmm. used in it. So, basically, the materials look standard. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Any anything else that uh, you guys want to look at, Leva? You have any uh, anything you want to do? Mm, not in particular. No. It's uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a refurbished okay. ship, and if we get it, then uh, we have enough time to to go through every nook and cranny if you want to. Uh, just so you know, I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell that it's refurbished just by looking at it. I mean, you know, they they you know that was told to you, but. Um, Everything is, you know, it's it's polished, squeaky clean, stuff like that. So, still, if we if we wanted to, and yeah. if we end up buying the ship, then uh, we have enough time to go through every single nook and cranny if we want. Sure, mm. that we can find. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, if you guys are satisfied, then uh, you'll uh, head back to uh, the barge and. Um, uh, get back to them uh, about the time that uh, their inspection is uh, being wrapped up. Um, there is a, uh, a human there. Um, uh, he's got uh, a slate of some sort uh, and some chalk, and he's uh, uh, making markings as you arrive. And uh, when you arrive, he, he closes his, uh, um, his slate, looks to Higamus, and says... All right, and I'll uh, I'll let them know about the quality of the ship so they can take that into account for the purchasing. Thank you, sir. Yep. Uh, have a good day. You as well. And he leaves. Um. So, uh, Chickson would have said that uh, um, meet up like the next morning f to finish negotiations. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, so it's uh late-ish afternoon-ish kind of thing. Um. Up to you guys what, uh, what you want to do, if you want to just uh, uh, sack out, or if you want to do something else. After would be uh, purchasing spell components that he can do after session. Okay. Uh, I'll unboard the crew to uh, make Ray to get whatever equipment we have on the ship. All right. Be easily Trans disembarked, yeah. transferred to the new ship. Okay. Uh, now, you, you would actually. know that a lot of times it, it takes a few days to transfer everything and that's that's fairly normal mm. yeah uh, okay for, for new ships and their own so, belongings of course yeah 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 uh i'm going to be like all right uh i want to go look at the potion shop or right, potion shops see what potions they have available so the thing with the weapons guys are we going to buy a weapon or hold back a weapon from uh, see if we can hold back a weapon from the ship we're trading in. Uh, they probably... Because he said he couldn't do anything about a weapon for that price. But well, what no. if we... No, what if... Not. It wasn't for the prices, it's that it was a different department we had to go to. It was a different department. Yeah, but he's basically trying to charge us uh, 10,000 gold pieces for nothing. Uh, 1,000, sorry. We've ha haggled him down to 1,000 gold pieces. It's a 1,000 gold piece tip. Um, Which so... isn't too bad. I mean, that, that's, it's, that's it's not too deal. bad. It's not too bad, but if we could say, will you trade in the ship and uh, we get to keep this weapon? Uh, Brax. Brax. Or we buy a new weapon. Yeah? We have a media ballista. We just need a turret. Yeah, just... yeah, we we could just go buy a turret from the guys upstairs and put one of our yeah. and put a me and ballista on there that we keep. Yeah. We already have an extra ballista. Yeah, we have an extra ballista already. Yeah, and if you were gonna keep a a, a weapon from the uh, barge, then they would be reducing the value, uh, the valuation of the ship. So and we already have a me and ballista, 
that's not installed anywhere. So we could just keep that and install it onto the uh, shuttle with and just buy a turret. We do. Where did we get a medium ballista? From oh, that was the one we were going to install. Mm. Yeah, but that we never installed, so it's free. It's from the spider ship. Yeah, from the spider ship. The Neo. Uh... We just never got around to installing it, so now we've got it free. Okay. We just need a turret then. Yeah, we just need to put oh, that on the bell dolphin. When we got a turret last time, it was about a thousand gold. Okay, so um, uh, Laftel's off uh, purchasing spell components. Uh, Leva, did you want to do that as well? How Oops. much time I would that take? Have... It would probably be the rest, you know, at least a couple hours. I mean, I look for the odd unique item, like any, like, uh, any better... Is there a cloak in the elven kind, or, you know, any magical cloaks? Um... In the no, market, so there really do not appear to be um, any magic items for sale at this time. Hmm. Uh, Yeldon probably went to the market so. looking for potion. Okay. Uh, there does not appear to be a potion seller. There doesn't? Nope. Uh, the Is stuff in the market, there, there are definitely uh, shops for magic paraphernalia, but they're primarily uh, spell components. Oh. There doesn't seem to be a potion store? Nope. Uh, the fact that there is oh. one on Brawl is quite rare. I guess I'll ask around and see if there are anybody that can train a wolf. There does not appear to be. Okay. Would I have... It's not something I specifically asked, but this is a personal question for... Oh, so the GM and after them. Would... Would I have known if there were any connections on the jugglers outside of Brawl? Uh, no, the the jugglers are a the jugglers men are a, uh, a Brawl specific. Closed. Yeah, they, no, they, that's fine. Uh, all of the uh, uh, well, with the exception of the yakuza, all of the uh, thieves guilds on Brawl are Brawl specific. Um, mm -hmm. And the yakuza basically uh, they're they're not like a branch or anything like that, but obviously yakuza. Consort with Yakuza, so. What about so many Yakuza? Magic arrow. Nope. No. No what magic. The normal, what's the prices of the arrows here? Uh, double player's handbook. Double. So more expensive than brawl. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Um. Anyone else have any anything else that they want to do? I will, if I get any extra time, then I visit the Elven Temples, I guess. Well, there actually look are for... not any Elven Temples. No, no. Nope. Oh, where into the, the, the... Well, I was going to say that the Elven uh, military not have anything like that. Not, not temples specific, and, I mean, if you went back to the uh, uh, Elven Embassy, um, <clears throat> they... Uh, they have a single shrine to the uh, whole pantheon. If you, pantheon. you know, and they'll they'll say that you're allowed to uh, uh, pray there if you feel the need. Well, if there's but, no Elven temple, I bet there's no Norse temples either. Nope. Actually, but, that's but one of the interesting things is that there don't appear to be any full blown temples on uh, refuge at all. That is very odd. odd. Uh, asking around, you do find out that the uh, the hospital um, does have some shrines to various deities related to healing and suffering and stuff like that, uh, as well as just um, uh, temples to, you know, I mean, not temples, but shrines to the Path and the Way, Celestian, and Ta. But, okay. And they well. have some, they have some, uh, um, like, general places of quietude if, you know, uh, you're a worshipper that needs a, a quiet place to pray. Um, more common than Elwyn Chainmail. So, so, you know, they're, they're just... Uh, they're, they're, as you're, you guys are wandering around, you're getting the impression that there really are not that many permanent, you know, uh, much in the way of permanent populations of people who do not work on... Uh, refuge or have villas here 
So there, there, <laughs> like there isn't a uh, an, an elven enclave of elven residents or a dwarven enclave of dwarven residents. Uh, yeah. Other than humans, the largest population is definitely Gif. This is such so, an odd place. So um, Braxton was originally going to look for magic items, but you've already said they're not rounds. Uh, so not the he's going, yeah. So he's going to see if there are any magical shipbuilding tools. No. No. Nope. Anywhere that sells <laughs> magic. Um, asking the around for magical stuff, you do learn that uh, the arcane tower uh, sells uh, some magic items specific to life aboard ships and things like that. Of course, mm. they would have a monopoly on that stuff. So we'd have to go back there. Yeah. Is there any taverns? There. Oh, there are taverns. There are lots and lots of taverns of varying quality. There, there are high-quality taverns. There are low-quality taverns. Uh, but even the, like, the lowest-quality taverns... Uh, they tend to be a bit rowdy. Uh, they they generally cater to um, uh, more to goblinoids and um, human sailors, while the high quality ones uh, have more elves and dwarves and stuff like that. Uh, even the low quality ones uh, are in well appointed buildings and stuff like that. Huh. Okay. Well, Laft will have a single uh, drink. At a yeah. tavern after his long day of purchasing, walking uh, up and down the market. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> mind uh, going to one of the taverns. Uh, I guess one of the... Uh, is there, like, any mid-tier kind of taverns? Yeah. I guess... I'm going to one mainly elves for a change, because it's been a while. So you're going to a higher quality tavern? I am, yeah. All right, so uh, your drink will run you um, 15 copper pieces. Mine? Yeah. Uh, is there anything above 15 copper? I'm going to silver. Well, 15 copper is uh, uh, a silver and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Ocker, yours runs a silver. Okay. So. Uh, uh, I'm looking to buy a wilderness harness. Uh, Higamus is going to. Uh, hold, hold, when on, get... hold on. Uh, oh, yelled in a wilderness harness? It's from the Ranger's Handbook. Um, is there a price listed? Two gold pieces. All right, double that. Those are available. That's that's just a non-magical okay. item. So it did it did say it was slightly. It, it availability is slightly more than Elven chainmail or something like that. I will bring that up. Oh, then hold off, and I'll look at that after the the session. Oh wait, no, that was the terrain suit. My bad. Okay. Um, if it looks like it's a pretty common item, just kind of useful. Um, like that's that's it, available. Yeah. Uh, okay. Going through the market, like if it's a normal item, non-magical item, uh, that's not super rare, so no elven mail. Um, they're common. <laughs> I mean, I mean they're available. So just about anything else that you could want is available here. No elven plate mail. Got it. I wouldn't expect to be able to buy terrain suit on a space on a, an 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 area where there is no little wilderness. Surprisingly enough, there's like a wilderness gear shop. Hmm. That's probably where I'm getting the, terrain, yeah. the wilderness harness. So, I mean, there there's like all kinds of stuff that would be useful for an excursion into a uh, wilderness area. Now, when you go in there, you, do, you uh, find out that the planet that Refuge orbits, the planet called Below... Um, it's a uh, veritable forested jungle world. I mean, it, it, like, almost all the terrain varies between forests and jungles. Uh, it's a pretty large world, and it is full of uh, things to hunt. Sounds perfect for a ranger. So it, 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 it has, it has uh, um, like, monsters of almost every stripe that you could think of, animals of every stripe that you could think of. And and it, it is it is a hunter's paradise down there. Can't find the price, but what a boots. Uh, any anything in particular that you want to purchase for you know, unless it's something that you you want to like purchase and then immediately uh, use, you can always ask me about it afterwards, and we'll we'll work that out. Okay. Yeah. You're getting quiet again. Yeah. 
Sorry, I was talking quieter there. All right. Uh, anything else that uh, other people want to do? Uh, yes, I would like to go check out see their gambling facilities. Okay. Um, there are two main casinos, and then there's a, a few smaller gambling dens. Um, do you want to go to one of the casinos? Yes. Okay. Um, you enter the casinos. They are brightly lit with continual light uh, um, lanterns and chandeliers everywhere. Uh, there is... Uh, there are, you know, it's, it's gilt. There's silver on things, uh, shiny brass fixtures. Like it is, it is really bright um, and noisy. Uh, and there are a variety of games, uh, many of which you've never seen before. But there are card games, there are roulette tables, uh, there are magical devices that you put in a coin, uh, push a button, and uh, it, it does something that makes you think of rolling dice, but you're not sure. And if certain designs pop up, then uh, you may win or you may lose. And more beyond that. Things that you've never even seen or heard of before. <laughs> All right. So you need uh, a gambling proficiency or game proficiency. I'll try a couple of the slot machines. Okay. Uh, what are you putting in? Uh, we'll do the gold. Okay. Uh, you... <laughs> You on your very first try, uh, you uh, you push the button and uh, um, uh, ten gold coins uh, um, chink out into the little uh, cup beneath it as uh, um, uh, symbols of uh, wheel lock pistols come up on the uh, uh, the device. Woohoo! Don't go too crazy. <laughs> All right, so that one was fine. Uh, what were some of the other ones? Uh, card games, roulette. Other games that you've never heard of that I would have to then think of. Oh, let's do some roulette. Okay. Uh, how much are you putting down? I'll put my winnings that I got from that one slot machine. On okay. Uh, so you put down ten. Are you uh, going to try to spread the bet, or just all in on one? Oh, let's do. So this is roulette. Let's do black. Okay. So. Ah, uh, unfortunately, you lost. Okay. Let's uh, throw ten more in. We'll do black again. Okay. Okay, you win uh, 20 gold pieces. <laughs> Profit! <laughs> wow. All right. Now, uh, now there's, think of... there's, there's a gift reserved one where you put down smoke powder. <laughs> oh my god. I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. There... There is, isn't there, all? All, all right, in, so I'll... all in my barrel on uh, uh, double zeros. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'll spend, like, a, a, some time here. Um, I won't spend more than... If I get down below 50 from where I started, I would stop. Okay. And I was just spending, like, the rest of the night there. All right, you end up ten gold pieces up. Uh, nice. Total, total for the the night. Gotcha. All right. Uh... Anyone else? Or gonna uh, call it a night and? Uh... I'm good. All right. Other than shopping, yeah, Yeldon's not gonna gamble. Uh, how much is it a night at an inn? Uh, the inns are, uh, um, so, I mean, it depends on the, the quality. Uh, I probably would go medium quality. I'm sorry? Medium, middle, the middle tier. Alright, that will be, uh, five gold pieces a night, each person. Cool. Okay. Five gold pieces. Five That's gold. the one Leva will take, too. Alright. Is there one, does that include baths or scrubs or yep. what? I guess I'll uh, there, too. What's the one that includes a bath? Uh, those those would be uh, uh, ten gold pieces. Yeah, I'll go for one of them. Okay. He's been out in the fly just on for a while. Yeah. I'll get myself a bath too. So, oh, ten gold. He's treating himself. Okay. 
got the money, you know, you got to live with it, so... So, yeah, uh, equipment. yeah a medium quality uh, in will be a five. If you want a medium quality in that also has uh, the extra accoutrements like a bath, would be ten. Uh, okay, I'll go for that. Mm -hmm. right. I went for that. Medium plus bath. So, yeah, yeah, I'll take that, that too. Alright. Sounds good. So, those who are doing that, just uh, deduct uh, ten gold pieces. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking... <laughs> Is Braxton doing that? No, Brax is not too interested <laughs> in this lot. He's uh, he's seen that he can't buy anything interesting, and uh, he's just headed back to the ship to uh, uh, get the crew to start preparing to uh, move to our new ship. Well, you, you didn't go so back to the uh, yeah. Arcane Tower. I mean, there might be interesting things to buy there. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. Th oh, is that still open? Uh, as far as you can tell, it doesn't close. It's open, it's, it's open 24-7. Alright, well if that's still open, he could head up there for a bit then. Okay. But he's not interested in gambling. He's um, not. So, no, uh, that's, a, that's a mugs game for rich people. Checking, <laughs> he, checking he out that. He came from somewhere where people work for a living. Checking out that, uh, you find out that they do actually have uh, magical ship weapons. Uh, up to plus three. Um, oh my. Can it be expensive? They have uh, a variety of uh, other uh, items um, useful for uh, ships, like gravitic stabilizers, uh, rings of enhancement, accelerators, uh, astrolabes, stuff like that. Rings of enhancement? Yeah. A, a, a ring someone wears? Yeah, that, that enhances your uh, ship's rating. Oh! Oh, oh wait, no, nope, gonna... sorry, my mistake. That's uh, that's unique to Gamelon's shop on uh, Brawl. Aww. My mistake. <laughs> so no, not that. But a wide variety of other things. Um, you know, basically a, a lot of the items that are in the War Captain's Companion, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Is this what I think it is? Don't spend too much money, Braxton, we need that. Okay, then not... Uh... Oh, does uh, that does the uh, group not have the money to pay for the ship? Does Braxton need to pay for the ship? No. No, 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 no. We have a we have money saved up. I mean, don't. Who knows how how things will play out? I don't know where Aqua's getting that. I don't know. I'm I am not fully awake for some reason. There's uh, also like uh, Helm Seekers, uh, you know, magical missiles for uh, ships' of weapons. Stuff like mm -hmm. that. Ignore me. So, uh, if if you are interested in some of those, um, you know, we can discuss the specific prices. Unless, yeah. Bra unless Braxton was thinking about spending the group money for stuff there. I mean, you might want to no, wait I... until you actually get the ship. Yeah, that's true. That's true, but he, he's he's wanted to see what there is. Uh, one thing he's interested in, regardless, is if they've got any uh, magical tools for carpentry. No, they or don't. Or anything that could anything that could uh, repair hull points on a ship, automatically or anything. <laughs> uh, when when you bring up that last thing, um, the uh, uh, the Rastapede, uh, uh salesman is like, <laughs> ah, we would we would be set for life if we could do that. Yeah, I've I've heard tales of a uh, of a golem that does that sort of thing. Uh, he, but uh, he, he, it, he it was from a man in a bar. He he responds <laughs> to that. Well, the gnomes keep trying something with that, but uh, well, you know how gnomes are. He mm. he gives a kind of a, a clacking, uh, chittery laugh uh, at his own comment. <laughs> yeah, Braxton laughs along with him. Okay. Um, so, you know, basically, you get kind of a quick rundown on some of the items available. Um, yeah. So Braxton will be able to tell the others when he meets them. Yeah. All right, he'll head back to the ship then. Okay. Let everyone know uh, that, that they've got so much days to do this, that, and the other. Probably a range. Uh, goes home. He stays hungry for the day. He doesn't make a sale. <laughs> pro pro probably arrange for the various shifts to be able to have a little bit of leave um but 
Yeah, do you know what the arrangements will be? Will we move, be moving this ship to where the other ship is, or vice versa? You won't know until the, everything's finalized. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Then the next day, uh, you guys get up and head to the uh, um, Arcane Tower. Did you want to take a shuttle there again? Uh, yeah. I'll right. go and do that. Mm -hmm. One gold piece each. Okay. We. I'll do another gold piece for going up last night. Hmm. Or you could have walked. I mean, you could have walked. Yeah, I think Braxton would have walked just okay. to see the long way. Okay. Uh, it turned out to be very long. <laughs> um, yeah, and Baxter says to everyone on the shuttle up, you know, you can walk up there and save a gold piece. See yeah, that little track? That, that's, did you just go up these stairs? It's good exercise. How long did it take you to get up there by walking? No, not too long. Just just an hour and a half. Armor. So, uh, you make it to the, uh, uh, the tower, and uh, you... Um, you're greeted by Tchixin again, and he says, I, I, I have the uh, inspection. Uh, was everything satisfactory with uh, the Battle Dolphin? Uh, very mm. satisfactory. Good, 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 good. Uh, now, um, uh, taking into account the, uh, uh, the trade-in, uh, that will put it... Uh, let me uh, just work this out. He uh, uh, gets out an abacus and starts uh, flipping the beads. And... Did Braxton bring a chest this time or something? Or Higgins mm -hmm. with all... You don't have to actually, like, pay them right here. Ah, uh, okay. Then what does that? Yeah. Alright. Um... So, uh, the, the balance will come out to uh, uh, 55,000. So how much are they taking off there? Well, they're starting at 71,000. 20-something. Uh, Not quite 20. Uh, they knocked off uh, 16,000. Yep, 16,000. Must be bad 16, rule for our ship. Well, I still think so, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, that does seem a little bit. Well, what are you going to... Say to him then. Yeah, give me a second here. I'm trying to figure out how much, how many ton, how much tonnage it was. To begin or we left it with. Well, how many hull points did the ship have before we got here? Forty nine. Then uh, maximum. So, yeah, so forty nine. Well, maximum sixty, but we only had forty nine left on it. Yeah, so, so there's eleven hull points of damage on the ship. Um. Uh, it is a free ship. <laughs> we didn't pay for it. We didn't pay for it, so... But... You want to get a little bit more of it, I would think. 71. And they're offering to bring it down to 55. Well, tell me... What would you, uh, well, tell me uh, what you want me to try to ask for, and I'll see what I can do. Tell them that the sure. train is be at least worth to bring it down to... Uh, Well, where are you getting? I say, Braxton. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say, uh, uh, what's our, what's our arcane, uh, chip worth? It's ten thousand. Ten thousand. That's, that's just money. That's not like bargaining chip thing or anything. Oh yeah, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, if we walk away, we can't get that ten thousand. I know. I mm. think I I think it's a good deal. It's a that's... damaged chip. No. I think you can get a few more thousand out of the deal. I see knock it down to about anywhere from 50 to above. Oh, well, I, I, I was thinking right. maybe 52. No, start start out start out. Don't don't start that high. Yeah. Uh, so so. Start start out. At, uh, Tell me what you 45. want me to start out as. Well, I don't know. Hold, 50, hold on. Wait, what, first what, first of all, let let him finish. But um, you you kind of want to uh. You know, decide on. We will go no higher than X. You know, like like this internally. You know, we will go no higher than yeah. uh, fifty-four or fifty or twenty, whatever it is. Uh, and then you start below that. The point is to Quite work up to that. that. Yeah. So uh, the, the the no higher the than other 
The other know. option, Okar, is they're knocking off money for the damage to the ship. Okay? We have a crew that can repair the ship. It will take time. Yeah? So, they can make a deal with us today at this price, or we can come back later with more repairs to the ship and ask for more money for our ship. It's how much do they want the money now? There's also that to it. Yeah. So if they wanna if they wanna knock off a substantial amount of the the list price of uh, of our ship, which uh, which when in good condition has a fair has a fair fair sale value, and obviously they would they would be uh, they would be expecting a, a markdown because we're selling, not not uh, we're not a seller. But um, let's see, a bar to patar. Be sixty thousand. If we bought it new, <laughs> off the top of my head, he says, flipping through a book. <laughs> a bar to patar would be sixty thousand gold pieces, right? Which is ten thousand short than the price for that one. But obviously, there is substantial damage. Yeah. So, how much were they offering on the bar to Pitar again, Ord? Uh, so, 16. go ahead. Someone said it. 16. 16. So, they're offering 16,000 on a ship that, when repaired, goes for 60,000. So, they're yeah. dropping us. They're dropping us by 44,000 gold pieces. As well as charging us an extra thousand gold pieces on the ship that we can buy for a thousand less. <laughs> so they're 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 asking for, um, you know, we're losing forty five thousand pounds for the ship being damaged. So six. Oh wait. All right. So guys, that would be. Set, well, hold, that hold on. Hold on. Set up a price where you're going to go no higher than, and then set out your starting price. Doesn't matter that much on what the other stuff is. Well, I want Higgins to choose it because I'm going to make a mistake. Uh, and that's fine. And that's fine. You can certainly do that if you if you feel comfortable. Try 45 as far as uh, the most you'll pay for it. Because then that's still a lot. Well, no, because it's only at 49. Do you have no higher than 50, so start at like 45 or something. Okay. 40. So I should say, I think forty-five would be a bit more fair. Well, I mean, there's substantial damage to your vessel, which we will have to repair and get it up to uh, arcane uh, standards. Um, but I suppose that uh, you know, I mean, you, you guys uh, uh, have been uh, uh, quite fair in your dealings so far. I suppose we could go down to how about fifty two? How about forty eight? I, I I gave you a, a a fair price. You need to sell it. I mean I, I mean that you, you need to sell it. Why why should he keep coming down? Yeah. <laughs> Brax, Brax and Lee's, leans over and in a stage whisper in Ocker's ear says, well, how about if we did some more repairs on our ship? And we did the deal later. How would you feel about that? How would you feel if we did more repairs on the ship and then made the deal later? Well, I, I can't guarantee that uh, the Battle Dolphin will still be available. Um, it, it's, a, it's a popular vessel. Um... We might have to settle for an octopus. Nah, I, I can't guarantee that that would still be available either. I mean, okay, look at it like this. So he can, you'll know, say, well, when you do get repaired, you'll be able to sell it. I mean, the going rate would normally be 60, but in your case, you'll probably sell it for 70. So, I mean, you're, you're going to be making a profit on it no matter what. So, and then the amount that we suggested there is generous because it's still at a way discount even for the normal going rate. 
There you go, James. Yeah, the amount we we suggest is still quite a discount for a normal going rate for the Bard's guitar. I would think it would be very fair. He, uh, he clacks his mandibles together and then says, I suppose I could take it down to 49, but I don't know that I could get much lower than that. I I have... I think we can make a deal at 49. I would have gone to 49 and a half. 48 and a half. <laughs> I think I we can make a deal at 49. Is everyone good with that? Yeah. Well, well he's the one making the deal. So. Well, no, I mean, well, you, 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 you can huddle. Maximum, you can, the you can huddle. The maximum we could do was 50, so I thought 49 would be fair. Yeah. You can you can huddle. Yeah, let's huddle it, before I say that and say, well, the maximum we were going to say was 50, so I think 49 is perfectly fair. Yeah. I'd say 500 less. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think we can get that. Be... Well, you can, might get angry, but we can still agree on the price that you mentioned beforehand if he doesn't accept it. Bra Braxton, Braxton says in in like a, a slight stage whisper. Uh, well, it it is a bit higher than we were going to go, um, but he has been nice and he has offered to show me his uh, swan ship. I think we'll go with. The, I think we should go for the forty nine. Okay. I think, I think that's, that's the best fine. we'll be getting. Okay. So, uh, that's fine. If we're good, so I'm going to turn around and say, I think we have a deal with the 49, my good sir. I say, is it all that my hand? Excellent, excellent. He, uh, um, he shakes your hand. Your hand. <laughs> uh, now, it, it's, it's really odd. You've never actually end, uh, shaken hands with a Rastipede before. Because uh, they don't actually have hands. Um, they have claws. Uh, it's weird, but it works okay. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I will be... Uh, um, uh, visiting your vessel to uh, take possession of it and take uh, uh, payment of it. Uh, of course. Would uh, be be able to do that right now? Uh, uh, we would have to move stuff off the ship first, of course. Oh, understandable. Uh, I will be uh, more than happy to throw in a uh, storage facility uh, for you to store anything that you need to uh, until we can get the Battle Dolphin uh, docked in, uh, prepared for you. That sounds perfectly reasonable. Thank you. That'd just be a modest That's fee it. of twenty gold pieces per day. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> well, and I will, yeah. I will handle that. I will handle that part personally. How about, how about we uh, transfer our stuff directly onto the Battle Dolphin? Uh, we well, could move. The... We could move our ship to your area. Ah, uh, no, we we cannot allow that. I'm sorry. I think oh, it's one you of could have your people move our ship to your area. Well, yes, uh, and we'd be more than happy to do so once uh, you have vacated all of your possessions off of it. Yeah, it's just you're proposing that we move our stuff into storage when we have a ship that we're selling and a ship we're buying. I think they need to get some time to prepare the ship for it being transported down there. Yeah. And I don't mind personally paying to, uh, for the storage myself out of my own pocket. Ocker's being fleeced. He, he, he's yeah, Ocker's already accepted it, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm okay yeah, with it. We're, we're agreeing with it, but basically, yeah. my my understanding is that the Rastapede and the Arcane have made systems in place of systems as like loopholes to make extra money. Ocker is totally mugging you for that. How many days <laughs> until the battle talk will be ready? Yeah. Um, that it, it'll it'll be ready in uh, just uh. uh... A day or two. It it will not be very long. Okay. Cool. I know. Oof. Look, if I'm getting fleece on the storage, then it's then it's my fault, and I'll up to that. But yeah. Uh, if there's a delay in completion of the Battle Dolphin, will you write off the cost of additional storage? Well, that's up to you on uh, where you store your your possessions. You. You certainly do not need to store uh, any goods in uh, our storage facilities if you choose not to. There are other uh, independent places that you could uh, store things, the, the Great Vault, perhaps. Well, we have, uh, we have a weapon uh, we were planning on installing on the uh, 
Battle Dolphin. Oh, I would be more than interested in giving you a referral to uh, uh, the shop upstairs if you uh, wish to uh, use their services for such. They'd be more than happy to do it for a very reasonable fee. And what would that fee be? Well, you'd have to discuss Fees that with them. For everything. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just thinking about for storage costs. We'd, we'd rather move that directly to the Battle Dolphin. Well, it, it, it takes uh, um, time to get these things ready. You understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to get the rigging on and uh, prepared for you and everything. That's true. If you will uh, lead the way to your ship and we can finalize the payment. Yep. Okay. Along the way, he gets uh, um, a veritable squad of gift to uh, accompany him. Uh, they uh, give you a, you know, a, a polite nod, Hagamus. Um, a respectful nod. All right. Seeing your Plus rank and ranks. everything. Yeah. Um, the kind of thing, you know, uh, acknowledging uh, a fellow gift who, you know, without necessarily checking uh, rank itself. Mm -hmm. You know, two different gift doing their own... Uh, work kind of thing. Uh, so, uh, you take another shuttle back down, and uh, you do not have to pay for it this time. Um, Thank you. And uh, back at the uh, the docks, uh, um, he uh, uh, goes onto your ship with the uh, the GIF uh, and says, all right, now, uh, that was 49000 I do believe. So I'll hand him the writ, and then uh, oh, and the trade bars. You you did not mention that you had one of these. This oh, will need uh... approval. Um, I'm sorry to say we're going to have to uh, delay finalization. Uh, do not worry. Uh, the the ship is uh, reserved for you. You will not uh, need to worry about that. Um, and we can delay. Uh, taking delivery of uh, your barge until this is resolved. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone uh, will be uh, uh, visiting you uh, promptly to uh, discuss the situation with you. All right. Okay. So he doesn't take the writ. Oh. No, he does take it from you. Uh, okay. Um. So you might want to remove it then. And uh, you guys just, just gonna wait it out at the uh, inn? Probably, yeah. Yeah, sounds like an idea. Okay. Apart oh, from Brax, who's staying on the ship. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'll probably stay on the ship, actually, too. That sounds about right. It's actually two days before uh, you hear anything. Oh, so that's, that's uh, another two days worth okay. of if being I, there? Yep. If I'd known that our stuff's going to be put in storage, and I would be going around seeing if there's any local thieves skill using my thieves camp to get a feel for new what's in the area. Um, the first few people that you uh, um, you know, try to just subtly indicate that you're a thief to uh, don't you know pick up on it, but uh, there is a a, uh, a shopkeeper uh, who sells uh, um, locks and lock picks and things like that. And, uh, oh, uh, my kind of man! <laughs> yep, uh, you, uh, you, 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 you didn't know that the shop existed right off the bat, which is why you didn't go to them first. But when you go in there and uh, try to indicate that you're, you know, looking for the local thieves guild, um, he, uh, um, he, he kind of makes a, a psh, 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 yeah, don't, you know, uh, <laughs> motion to you and says uh, quietly, uh, "You'd best keep that to yourself around here." Oh. Uh, there's no thieves guilds here. They any any attempt to create one uh, gets uh, routed quite fast. Oh, that's uh, well. There's some uh, stuff that uh, we were being uh, stored, and I didn't want to get robbed, so I was just going to lay the land. Uh, there's uh, there, there's some uh, independent uh, workers around here, but uh, um, it's uh, oh, right. it's a dangerous dangerous job on on refuge. You, if if you have the those skills, uh, I, I'd recommend against uh, making use of them. Hmm. Well, what's the local uh, punishment around here, other than death? Is there? He oh, he, he looks awful. at you. He looks at you straight and says, "You ever been pounded to bloody by a gif?" Uh, well, sort of. Not by a gif, though. Yeah. 
That's usually yeah, not nice. I, I change the topic, talk about lots. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, he he then uh, starts uh, going over his wares and. Uh, um... I I know about Lux and I I refer him to a a well known Lux person on Brawl. Uh, I purchased a lock from and I go into detail how I uh, won a competition. Uh, I talk about the intricacies of this lock, how he's, well uh, it was crafted. He's suitably impressed. He uh, uh, says that uh, he has definitely heard of her and uh, her work, uh, and uh, very much respects it. Mm. Okay, uh, so um, after two days, uh, another Rastipede that you've never uh, met before um, arrives uh, at your hotel, um, which is a little bit odd because you didn't actually tell Tchixin that you were staying at the inn, but uh. Um, uh, he arrives and uh, um, uh, finds you, Higamus, and says, um, Find his feet. There's a... a uh, um, Urgent request. Uh, someone needs to uh, meet with you. If you could uh, follow me right now. Sure. I, Only I, him. Uh, no, I other people are welcome to come along as well. All right, we'll come along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess one of us should go get Braxton since he's still on the ship. Braxton doesn't. Well, Braxton will be popping over to you every day and seeing how things are going on. Okay, so yeah, you've heard about this. But unless your plan was to actually spend all day with them waiting, rather than be on the ship, no. you wouldn't be there. Yeah. Okay, Can we... I... okay so somebody should probably go inform Braxton while we head up there. If I miss it, I miss it. Yep. It's up to you guys whether you want to bring... I Braxton. asked the Rust Pete if there's a runner. If there is such a thing as a runner, someone he could send a message. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Any you, courier the, system? The, the, the fee is uh, normally uh, uh, five silver pieces. I pay five silver pieces for someone to inform Braxton. Yes, yes. Uh, tell, tell him to uh, come to the uh, Arcane Tower. Uh, I asked someone who can write in common that could write in common. I leave a message or something. Doesn't or tell the message, yes. Yeah. Wait, can Braxton read? Yes. yes. He, he can, can now. now. That's why I was thinking of that. All right. Um, yeah, I, I pay a runner as well. So uh, Braxton, a uh, a runner, pays a visit to your uh, to you on the ship and uh, tells you that uh, um, you know relays the message from Laftel, indicating that uh, you should be uh, that there there's a meeting at the Arcane Tower. Okay. Is it Braxton pays the five silver pieces or I'll take no. it off mine? Yeah, Laftel did. Right. You pay okay. when you uh, hire them. All right. So he thanks the runner. The the and, runner uh, seems a little bit expectant. Tip him. <laughs> yeah. Gives See, him... we're British. We're not used to tipping. <laughs> it gives him a silver piece. Uh, the oh, the uh, the runner's 20%. eyes, uh, um, you know, light up uh, in delight, and the uh, the silver piece disappears instantaneously, and then he leaves. What does I make it disappear? Just a wave of my hands and it's gone. Okay. So am I. So, um... The, uh, um... The Rastipede that meets the rest of you, uh, he takes you to a shuttle, and, uh, you do not have to pay. Uh, Braxton, did you want to take a shuttle, or were you going to walk? Yeah, I guess Braxton's going to have to pay, because he's okay. on his own. Uh, that will be a gold piece. <laughs> Otherwise you're not going to make it time either. Okay, uh, you get up, get to the Arcane Tower at uh, just about the same time that uh, the rest of the party does, uh, which is a little bit odd because a runner had to come get you. You have the fast shuttle. Well, hmm. oh, that, that'll also be that uh, Braxton hustled it to the uh, shuttle. Well, right, area. but the uh, the runner, you know, had to get to you. True, true. And find Not. you. Uh, yeah. So you, uh, um, you guys are, are all together, and uh, the Rastipede leads you into the uh, uh, Arcane Tower, up the stairs at the back that uh, goes up to the second level shops. Um, but then he leads you through a uh, pair of doors that you didn't actually realize were there before, um, and uh, leads you to another staircase uh, that uh, goes up to a third floor. Um, 
on that third floor, you are ushered into a uh, a, a very well appointed office. Uh, it is carpeted, um, fine wood furnishings. Uh, you know, some things are, are gilt. It looks like some silver candlesticks around, uh, and it's uh, well lit with continual light uh, uh, objects. Um, Would there have been opportunity for me to cast a spell? I'm sorry. Would there have been an opportunity for me to cast a spell? I was like mind read or something. Maybe. It's a two second cast. Oh. Casting time of two, you mean? Yeah. What's the what what's required for it? No, no, it's no material. It's just verbal and somatic. So uh, let me see. What's the duration? Babala, babala. Uh, well, if people were making small talk or conversation, I would have said it in the background. Cast a spell. I, if there was that opportunity, of people talking. Right. Well, what's the duration? Uh, round a level. Okay, so you're so looking at five So, it's only five minutes. Alright, um... So, when were you thinking about... When would you want to cast it? Like, once uh, you go into when the... when we start these... going through the corridors. Okay, um... If there... Only if there was conversation going on. If there's no conversation, we'll cast it. I Basically, I... I want there to be background sound. I guess I would try to make conversation you asking... Yeah, no, 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 no one else that. would know. Stuff... No one else would know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, no until he else. starts. I'm not drawing it, so. attention. Uh, yeah, all right, talking. let me see. Okay, yep, you get it cast, and uh, uh, as far as you know, no one else noticed uh, uh, you casting it. All right, carry on. Okay. Incognito. All right, uh, and this is mind read. Yep. That's in the tome of ha tome of magic, right? Uh. No, it's in the player's handbook. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's in the thought. What's well, that? yeah, Tomb Magic, sorry. Yep. All right. What I am level? looking at Tomb Magic. Two. Okay. Give me just a second to uh, double check what the effects are. I want to get Slap Free off as well, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not risking two, I'm not getting two spells cast off. I'm not pushing my luck. I thought a nice quick two. Cast spell, I might be able to get off. Well, who are you mind reading? It's open, it doesn't have to be on anyone. But, uh. But it allows you to probe deeper into the thoughts of a single creature if you decide on one. Mm hmm. Okay, well, um, you, uh. It runs out, it runs out. Uh, you get it right, you know, right as you're coming in. Um, you are taken up to, uh, um,. Uh, the office. Uh, you've got this spell cast. You're not sure exactly how long it's uh, gonna ha be in effect, but definitely not as long as it, you know. I mean, you, you had some time on the uh, uh, walk up the stairs. Um, mm -hmm. You were taken into uh, uh, an office, uh, which was not at the end of a corridor, but along a corridor with a lot of uh, uh, doors um, that are very similar. Um, it seems reasonable to assume that uh, this is just one of many offices on this corridor. Um, and at the far end, there was another uh, staircase up. Uh, inside the office uh, is a um, uh, an arcane uh, sitting behind the desk. Um, the rooms in this uh, part of the building are much higher, and they're all kind of vaulted. Um, you know, even Asher, you feel kind of small in these spaces. Hmm. God, if Asher feels small, we must feel tiny. Yeah. Uh, now, I mean, keep in mind that uh, uh, Arcane are a good three feet taller than Asher. Oh, God. Yeah, they're 12 <laughs> feet tall. Yeah. yeah but they're don't. not very physically imposing. Uh, they have a very imposing presence, though. Even if they themselves, you know, they're they're you know kind of thin and uh, um, you know being bully. Yeah, lanky. Um, they still have very imposing presence because of their you know their mystery and everything like that. And um, as soon as you are uh, brought in, the uh, um, the arcane uh, stands and says, "Please have a seat." Thank you. Uh, there's a number I... of seats around. Are they normal height or arcane height? They're many different types of seats. Uh, there, <laughs> there are seats available for you. Okay, grab one for Did my spell run out? Uh, your spell is uh, still in effect. 
can I t yeah, just basically see if I can immediately discern his uh, if he's like worried or something concerned what kind of mood he's in. You are unable to uh, read yeah. anything from him. What about some one of our party members? Yes, you can you can read the surface thoughts. Uh, I had a feeling that was the case. Is any Rastapedes in the room? Uh, the Rastapede in the room uh, is starting to leave, the one who led you up here. Any th passing thoughts from him? Um, the, the, what you pick up from him is uh, um, that it is unusual for Adin to uh, meet anyone other than a Rastapede, and then he's out the door. Oh, special case. Uh, the Arcane, uh, uh, once you've all, uh, taken a seat, um, the Arcane says, uh, um, my name is Adam. I, he holds up the letter of credit, uh, that you had and says, uh, you had this from Prince Andrew of Brawl, I see. Yes. Yeah. There is no issue. More work. There is no issue with this. We are more than happy to have it apply to the purchase. However, given who it is from, you may be of service to us, and we may be interested in providing some payment uh, for the service. Mm -hmm. If you would be interested. We'll hear you out. Yeah, certainly. We'll hear you out. All right, people, <laughs> don't readily just agree to it. All right, <laughs> please, I, I got gotcha. you. Please, please don't readily agree to it, or act like yeah. you're readily agreeing to it. <laughs> I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. So, given as uh, you have clearly uh, provided some important service to uh, Prince Andrew, uh, you are obviously capable. We have a customer. Who is problematic? Mm -hmm. They took delivery, paid the down payment, but have not paid the rest and are refusing to do so. Hmm. And we, uh, we could have the gift take care of this, but we find that uh, in situations such as this, outside parties are better at making examples of those who choose to renege on their deals with us. So what excuse have they offered for not wanting to pay the full amount? Well, that's What's... really besides the point. Well, it's not because you're asking it to enforce action based on them refusing. If they've just said we don't want to pay any more because, hey, we'd like to keep your money. That's different from them having what they perceive is a genuine issue. They agreed to the payment. They have taken mm -hmm. delivery. And they owe us considerable thousands of gold pieces. Oh, oh yes. My. Which I accept. But what have they said as their excuse? The excuse they gave was that they were displeased with the quality of the purchase. Right. Okay. I can assure you there was no problem with the quality of the purchase. What exactly did they purchase? Well, I have seen the quality of your workmanship, and it's impressive. They took delivery of ships. Uh, ships. Okay. Hmm. okay. How, how many ships? Four. Four. And what what are we talking about about the uh, the full price they were supposed to pay and how much they've paid? That really is besides the point. Uh, they've taken well, I'm just delivery. If they paid, they've taken if delivery. They paid... He he just speaks right over you as you're uh, you're talking. They have taken delivery. They have refused mm -hmm. to pay. They have a manor mm -hmm. here. We would like them evicted. Whether that is just kicking them out getting them, you know, forcing them onto another ship and uh, expelling them from the sphere. Or death. The ones here are just agents, not the actual owners. Uh, mm -hmm. We do not care. The point is, is they have crossed. 
the Arcane. They have reneged on yes. their deal. We will not be dealing with them again. And we need to show what happens when they choose to do so, so that others do not right. think that they can do this as well. Who they have they? many competitors out there. Uh, it will hurt them far more to have this happen to them than paying us what they promised. Mm -hmm. Who are they? They are humans. Uh, I believe they have some ogres in their employ. There may be some others in their employ as well. We do not know. Who are they aligned with? Who's their organization? Uh, they are independent. We deal with many independent groups throughout the spheres. What shapes did they try and buy? That is really besides the point. These yeah. are personal, private uh, dealings that we do not wish to uh, share the details of. You understand? Well, you, you, you understand that we, we, if we have, if we have to follow them, it would help if we knew what type of ships they have, so we know that uh, uh, how to. I think, them. I think he wants us to go to the manor they have here and evict them from refuge. Indeed, yeah. Indeed, that is all that is required. You will not need to uh, chase down or hunt down their ships. The delivery is done. Uh, we do not need the sh ships returned. In fact, we do not really need anything of theirs back. They have reneged on the deal, and that is that. Will you give us a chance to discuss this amongst ourselves before we make any decision? If you wish. All right, guys. Uh, we we need Let's to find out who follow. these people are aligned with. This is a um, if they have any connections to any of our interests on Brawl, I really don't want to kick it and find out later. Oh, well, they're independent. And by independent, I mean they're part of the prince's company or one of his mm -hmm. people or somebody dealing with any of his political stuff. I got a um, feeling that if it was have something to do with. The Prince, he wouldn't accept our the prince. He wouldn't uh, if he thought they were related in any way. He wouldn't accept our writ. Because the writ yeah, that would be like massive, huge repercussions on trade negotiations if there was like conflict between the two areas. Yeah. Well, but we've been, if we go on, if it's us that's doing it, all they have to do is be like, oh, well, we didn't have anything to do with that. It wasn't our stuff. Should we ask if the group? Should we ask this guy if the group is connected to anybody on Brawl? He said it was... Anyone can say that they're independent. Yeah, we. Yeah, you can still ask. Yeah, I can still ask. And then also, right. like, uh, this is one of those deals where we go do this, and then they arrest us for going and doing this type of thing. The arc. I thought uh, all the out of game. Uh, the arcane I known for keeping the word, right? Yeah. Yeah, what was it in the law of the land that Arcane's word is final? But yeah. their word, so you gotta take that into account. They're gonna keep their word as far as what they say. They're not gonna apply it even further than that. Okay, so, so we we're told the sure word of the Ark. Go on. We, we make sure that they, they won't turn the authorities on us. It's all above board, so to speak. Right, um, so we've been told the word of the arcane is law, and we have an arcane who's saying he wants us to serve an eviction. Yep. So we can ask for an eviction notice to be written uh, with us given paperwork that authorizes us to be uh, enforcement agents of that eviction, if we accept. Right. That will mean, that will mean we will have papers signed by an arcane we can show to any GIF that think we're causing a disturbance in the street. If he's willing to do that, then we shouldn't get any problems with the local authorities, and we should have a local, when well, we should have a document we can serve on the people, and we can say you have been evicted from refuge by the arcane, and you have uh, half an hour to gather up your belongings and leave. Otherwise, we'll have to, uh, if they don't want to go along with it, we may end up having to face them down. 
Well, I mean, we, well we have the authority to enforce it. Yeah. yeah. We don't need to say half... I, I think we should give them longer than half an hour. That's a little fast. Yeah, well, basically, as long as it looks reasonable that they are getting ready to be evicted. And then... Yeah. Are we allowed to we use force? Are we allowed to kill them? Um, yeah, he well, he gave us permission to kill them. Yeah, 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 but we want that down in writing. Yeah. Uh, also, um, another thing is, I really want to know who these people are. I don't like the, oh, they're independent type of thing. That's too open in the air. Independent could be a whole cartel thing. Yeah. I mean, we could find it out ourselves. We certainly could. Um, it might be that he doesn't want to give us the information about who the people are until we accept the contract, but we could mm -hmm. certainly ask. I, I just don't want this to be like, oh, this is a huge cartel we'll have to be dealing with for yeah. ever from now. We already have. I to could try to ask uh, who they're connected with, if they're connected in any way to Brawl or any place we have to worry about. And then yeah. also remember, we have another thing we have to do too. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. It doesn't sound like this will take that long. All right. Okay. I gave you guys I... my 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 feelings on the matter. Yeah, but, I'm going no, to. What he says makes sense. It does make sense. Yeah, you, your your thing makes sense. I just want to ask a few more questions. Okay. We I don't have to take every GLS job. Doesn't... Yeah, I understand that. Uh, I can I ask about... him? Uh, like, hold on, uh, G man. Uh, you keep trying to ask something, and I n I don't think anyone can really hear you. Oh. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry, I wasn't... Yeah, he's really man. quiet. Uh, hello? Yep, that's better. Yeah, that's much okay. better. Um, what I was going to say is, uh, somebody, we should, uh, we should say, unless you tell us who we are evicting, like, um, like, what organization the, this independent group, the name of this independent group is, we're not gonna take it, we're not gonna accept. That way he'll have to tell us if he really wants us to do it. That's probably an idea. That's yeah. a fair point. I, okay, so I guess turn around and ask about it then. All right, what are you gonna ask exactly? Okay, so what is this independent group? Is it connected to Brawl or any way? We want to know exactly what we're dealing with before we accept anything. They are not connected with Brawl in any way, certainly not officially, and to our knowledge, not unofficially. Um, Indeed, I cannot imagine any reason why uh, anyone of uh, note on Brawl would even care that anything good or bad happened to them. In fact, maybe even uh, be pleased by bad things happening to them. So, uh, what kind of group are they? Oh, the usual uh, terrorizing the space lanes for their own personal profit and domination, that sort of thing. So they're pirates. Are they pirates or part of some kind of cartel or what? Uh, they are not pirates, no. And the second part of that question? A cartel. Um, they are not merchants in any way. Okay. And yet they terrorize the space lanes? Slave traders, maybe? They could be a group that we're not. Uh, uh, you can understand that to. I would not want to give out details. Right. Yeah, but um, if we you can understand it, if we were to do this, and I'm not saying we are, would you have given? Would you give us like a a note of eviction or something to show any gift cards and to deliver onto them? Oh, indeed. You would be acting with our authority. People would know that they this has happened because we were crossed. Okay, okay so you'd give us, like, paperwork to show. Indeed. Okay. Okay, the, the, the thing you have to understand from our point of view is this group would hold us as an enemy if we did this action against them. So there are certain... Groups out in wild space, such as pirates, such as slavers, that we are pretty much automatically opposed against. There are other groups that might have problems with you that 
we don't necessarily have problems with. So um, you don't want to tell us who it is until we accept the deal. We don't want to accept the deal without knowing who it is. Perhaps we could make some sort of non-disclosure agreement so that we can get some information off you and make a decision uh, on the understanding that uh, we won't tell them anything about it unless we take the deal. Well, if you uh, do not wish it known who you are, uh, the simplest uh, manner for that is to not let anyone escape. Mm. Yeah, we're not murderers, though. So, uh, if if I we can go up against criminals... You, I can guarantee you there are no innocents there. It's not murder if it's if it's the law of the land, so to speak. Yeah. You'd be fully authorized to use any means necessary to evict these people, especially if they resist. Would there be a bonus if they were ca uh, captured? No. Alright, so just want them to go. Anything? However, however you wish to handle it is fine with us, so long as everyone knows that this happened because they crossed us, and that would be known just by the act that you carry out. Is we would be happy special? to. Oh, go ahead. Is there anything special about them? Like, what race are they? No, he said, well, ogres, he said humans you know. and ogres. Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed that. We would be happy to uh, grant you an additional ten thousand gold piece line of credit if you are mm. interested. Uh, I'm going to turn around uh, to everybody and be like, give me this one more moment here. Uh, he says that they're not pirates, right? He said they weren't pirates. They weren't pirates and they weren't merchants and not a cartel. But, but they, they terrorized the space lanes. So they may be slavers. And they may not be slavers. They might be the company of the Chalice. Or they might be the pragmatic order of thought. And if it's well, either of those factions... I'm not going against them. Well, he said terrorize. Yeah. I don't think either of those would terrorize the space lanes. Well, they yeah, do. Slavers, the, slavers the, might the consider them terrorists. Terrorizing. Yeah. The the the, the, uh, the the pragmatic order of thought attack slavers and kill them. But he did also as, say as that did uh, the company uh, of the no one on brawl. He did say they were not connected to the brawl in any way, and those two factions are connected to the brawl. Yeah. Well, I think we need to come to some sort of arrangement where we find out who these people are. And if if he's not willing to do that, I'll walk away from the 10,000. Because I'd rather not agree to attack a faction without knowing they're bad. Everyone we've taken on so far has been bad. That is true. What's the time frame for this? I asked. As soon as possible. Could we investigate before we take action, or like a couple hours, or something? The sooner this can be resolved, the uh, better. Um, the, I cannot uh, authorize purchase of the ship until you have either agreed or disagreed to uh, take this. My my moral problem is is without knowing who this group is, uh, I can't really take the job. Would it help if I guaranteed Indeed. that... Well, I mean, I, I already guaranteed that there were no innocents there. No innocents. Okay. Yeah. I kind of need to tell, know who they are. Can you at least tell us the name of, of the organization? That would that would help... Uh, our, that would probably help a lot with our decision. Could you... Oh, look at it a different way. Could you ask if it is or isn't the following... Is it not? Is it the pragmatic word of thought or the company of the chalice? No, it is neither of those. Uh, old, okay, then. It, in this world, uh, in D and D uh, or in Spelljammer, is the concept of like good and evil like are, would people know the difference if you ask, "Hey, are these are they good guys? Or are they bad guys? Uh, are they evil?" So. Um... It would be rude to ask someone an alignment because evil people don't really see themselves as evil, per mm -hmm. se. Um, but, yeah, I mean, 
good and evil are concrete forces, which is why protection from good and protection from evil work. Okay, I'll, I'll ask this to them. Would a protection against evil spell work against the people in those build in that building that you want us to evict? I believe it would, yes. Okay, then. So they are evil aligned. That... Okay, I'm looking back at the others. All right, yeah. fuck you guys. If you want to take it on. I... I would like to deal with them because I'm a paladin and everything. If they're, if they are it's evil a lawful line. act, so you're in full. It's a lawful evil. act, and if they're evil aligned. I'm up for it, but up to you guys. Well, I, I thought we'd I only be to... doing it for the money. That's his take, so to speak. Yeah, and oh, it's uh... a, it would knock it would knock it down from thirty nine thousand to twenty nine thousand on the ship. Basically, yeah. Lama has uh, a problem with that, and that is that uh, on the one hand, uh, she'd be in favor of doing it, on the other hand, very much against having been blackmailed by this guy who says uh, that he cannot authorize the. No, no, he well, can't. No, 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 he, no, 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 no. He'll, authorize this, he'll authorize it if we, dis if we say no. Yeah. He'll still do the sale even if we don't want to do the quest. We're just getting that bonus job because yeah. we are an independent It's just a job to get us some extra off the ship. It's like an extra discount if you do this for us. Otherwise, we'll just go with the normal deal using the writ that we showed them before. Right. What he was saying was that he would not uh, be able to authorize a sale if you dicker. You know, if you say, give us a day to think about it. Or we want to go do our an independent investigation. It's, right. it's, you know, yes or no now, and then regardless of what that is, they'll make the sale. Yep. Well, Akar is way, more doing this, but it's up to you guys. The way I see it, we don't know who we're going up against. They may well be going, they may well be bad. If he was willing to, uh, I know that, uh, when... Laftal and Lever investigated that warehouse. They managed to ferret out some information that proved to our satisfaction that those people were bad. So if we were if, if we were allowed to do something like that before actually accepting the deal, I would go for it. Yeah, uh, but we're so, acting on our authority. That contradicts the refuge's authority. Yeah, I know. Uh, so so he's question. saying he's saying we have to go or no go without the ability to do that so i would say no i i would personally say turn down the 10,000 and make a counter offer that will pay without that 10,000 but we will be most willing to sign a non-disclosure agreement to do some investigation and see if we're i if, but i don't think he'll go for that because he, i don't think he'll go for that because he could just send a gift he's asking well, then, for independent because well, it would then, be a lot easier for him well then if he uh, wants to send the gift he can send the gift but he's asking us to take on a contract without information Leva asks uh, uh, aiden why why do you want us to fix it? Uh, I mean, you have plenty of people here, and 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 they're official. So if you if you want us and you give us the papers to make us official, uh, why use us? Uh, he looks at you uh, simply and says, "The GIF are powerful, however." If you have performed a service for uh, Andrew, you are likely more powerful, more experienced, more skilled at uh, the type of work involved. Uh, the GIF are wonderful for uh, keeping the peace, rousting uh, those who uh, get out of line, but at the same time, let's face it, you are also more expendable. So, <laughs> yeah. So, that's what I is, uh, <laughs> have I have people to uh, old, uh, in, 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 in respect to Arcanes. I'm sorry? A question to you at, uh, in respect to Arcanes and, and their tempers. Do they always tell the truth? Um, they, you can trust them generally. Um, they may not always tell the whole truth, and uh, certainly, I mean, they are merchants first and foremost, so 
they want, you know, I mean, they're they're always going to want uh, to get a better end of the deal kind of thing. Um, but they're relatively honest. Uh, uh, well, let's put it this way. You could trust their word on a deal. Um, if they, you know, if part of the deal is that they swear that uh, you are getting something, you will get that thing. Um, okay. And they prefer, you know, they would prefer not to tell you something rather than actively lie about it. Um, but they certainly can lie. It would be fairly unusual. So if they tell us that these people are bad, evil, uh, then there's a fair chance that they told us the truth. As far as they know, yes. Okay. Okay, okay. How many I'm happy. How are in this... Uh... So, Mans. me and Leva are four, Laftel wants the money. What about you, Hickamus? Uh, well, How many people are in there? I do not know the exact numbers. Um, there would yes, probably be uh, in excess of ten individuals. So, ten or more. Bra Braxton, uh, Braxton is split on this. He is against doing this with the level of information they're willing to provide. But uh, he is uh, he is in favour of uh, considering it and doing a making a non-disclosure deal and finding out to our satisfaction that this is something we want to take on, and then either doing the job or saying no. Uh, what do you, what do you say, Higgins? Um, what was our payment going to be for this? Uh, another rate of ten thousand off the ship. Well, it's it doesn't have to be on, off the ship. He didn't actually say anything no, about the ship. Yes or no? Yeah. Well, it could be another rent for something else, or you know, he said ten thousand or something. Like it's given us a job here if we use yeah. it elsewhere. Is it unique to here? I mean, oh, it would only be uh, usable uh, with the arcane. Yeah, yeah, like that would be an unstated element there. Um, yeah. Now you could use it anywhere that the arcane are. Arcane. Yep. But Refuge is the only place we really know about. Well, no. So yeah. you could have used the writ that you had back on Brawl with the arcane there, but you wouldn't have been able to buy a ship because they don't sell ships there. No, they, uh, they sell other things like money. Like, uh, I believe they they sold navigation equipment and things like that. Well, they sold helms, for example, and other uh, and and a number of uh, spell jamming magical items. Like I think there's some. I remember something about like a three-dimensional compass. Well, the, the point is, is a. I mean, just about any major port is going to have arcane. Right. Uh, okay. what do you guys think about asking for since uh for the inconvenience of not knowing who it is exactly we're going up against? Uh, asking for uh our fees, the fees that we would receive uh from any organization attached to the arcane while we're here. Uh, be waived. Other than like, the ship thing. Like, like uh, the transfer fees, the docking fees, and all the that. The storage one. fees. Stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I could go with the storage fees. Mm, for me, it's not a matter of money. It's a matter of being asked to agree to go up against a faction without knowing who the faction is and potentially agreeing to fight a faction that we would ethically not fight. We know that they're evil. We know that they're not connected to Brawl. Yeah, why does he have to lie? Why would he lie about that? Yeah, he's I'm not, not the... saying. I'm not saying he's lying, but different people have a different interpretation of what's bad. And somebody who steals your money is bad, but somebody who steals your money because they've... Uh, decided to fly a ship f full of food to a place with a famine is different from somebody who steals your money because they want four pirate ships. Well, we don't have to kill them, though. We just have to evict them. Yeah, yes, we don't, have but to we kill don't know them. who they are. We don't know yeah. who they are. Well, we didn't know that with the slavers. We didn't know that with the shower. We didn't know that before either. So why, we is, still it, did it. why is it so important all of a sudden? Uh, what happened with the slavers was we knew that it was someone who kidnapped dwarves and were going to sell them slavers. So we knew they were bad from that. 
Unless, of course, Arkin Noberduck was lying. Yeah, unless he was lying. Well, Yeldon, what do you think? Hmm. Lafta would have told the party if he was lying, because I had mind read. That's how I knew about the conversation. Yeah. Uh, but, but mind read, you weren't able to get anything out of him. Yeah. Oh, no, I understood the conversation. Not, uh, not out of this guy, no. I mean, the previous mission. I could always oh, okay. try my detect evil intent. It's, yeah, there's no evil intent. There's no way that... <laughs> yeah. This is... I don't think... He's... We've got... I think we have enough to hedge our bets on this. Yeah, system. I think we have enough to hedge our bets on this, Braxton. Uh, as far as I know, from everything it's I've not... heard about the arcane, is you can take them for their word. Yeah, that's Most of us are favored. I'm not saying we're going to outvote you per se. I'm just saying the majority well, of the party is in that direction. I, yeah, I, I think the question, I mean, kind of, it, it kind of comes down to right now. It, are, are you a flat no, Braxton? Just or uh, it, well, are, you, are you a reluctant? Well, no, let me let me finish. Are you a reluctant? Yeah. You know, uh, will you reluctantly go with everyone else? Because it looks like the majority of the uh, um, group is interested in accepting it. He'd reluctantly go along with everyone else, but he would still rather have a non-disclosure agreement with the Arcane and say, we want to know who we're going up against. Because who we're going up against, uh, like he said, we are expendable. Who we are going up against is how we assess the risk to us now and the risk to us in the future. There are four ships out there, maybe more, from this faction that we're being asked to evict. People I mean, are going to say that because he, they bought four ships, they've gone off with the four ships. We're okay. not dealing with the four ships. We're just dealing with their office here. We're, we are going up against a faction that has four ships. Was it four hammer ships? He didn't say. Was it four little? He didn't it say could be four big ships, could be four little ships. So we're, we're going up a, a, against a faction that has more ships than us that could come and could try to hunt us down. Now, we're in the business of putting our lives at risk. So if it's a fair deal, we put our lives at risk. We've done that before. So I'm not saying no. I'm saying we are not being given the full picture because he feels that he can't tell us until we accept the deal. So we're in, a, we're in an impasse where I would rather know... You're the, the only one at the that... impasse. Yeah, All right, well, I'm in an impasse. Point. And 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 the thing I'm is, in is impasse so because... so the point is at this point, how do you get beyond? How do we get beyond this? Well, Braxton's proposed that we agree a non-disclosure agreement so that we can investigate and find out who they are. Okay, and but make he an won't assessment. do that. Then ask him. Well, ask him. Braxton says to them. Braxton says to them. Right. Okay. In principle, we would love to work with you, sir. I have an issue in that going up against this group that has four ships that have gone and potentially more puts me, my companions, and more importantly, the people working for us on our ship at risk in the future. So you do not wish to tell us who exactly you want us to evict until we agree to the, the contract. And the problem is for me is that we can't assess the personal risk to us and the risk to our employees and work out that that is, that is equal to what you're offering without knowing. So I would like to propose to you that we sign some sort of non-disclosure agreement so that if you tell us information and we don't want to take the deal, we are not allowed to spread that information so that we can find out to our satisfaction that this is something we are comfortable with. How does that sound to you, sir? He uh, um, he nods slightly uh, as you're asking this, uh, but then says, "The issue with non-disclosure agreements is that it doesn't matter if people sign if there are people who can read minds." He then looks at Laftel, <laughs> oh. and looks back at Braxton, who's still thinking about how expensive the chairs in the room are. 
Now, if you are not interested, I can understand that. Uh, I do understand that there was another group uh, here purchasing a ship. They might be interested in taking on this and getting the line of credit and receiving the uh, gratitude of the arcane. Um, I'd be more than happy to finish up the sale on your ship if uh, you aren't interested. Hikimus, what do you think? Hikimus, what do you think? We never got uh, your opinion. Braxton, this is something you won't do at all? It's something uh, I'm very uncomfortable with. It yeah, is something... It's something with a bit more information I could be completely comfortable with. But sometimes but you do have to take risks. Yes. I, I'm not I'm worried gonna... about the risk. I'm not worried about the risk. I'm worried about the ethics. I'm, gonna I'm not worried. I, I, we, talk to, we, we, we are talking to someone who is more or less known to, take, to tell the truth as mm -hmm. far as it goes. And and he has told us uh, he has given us enough information to make uh, to to have us believe that what we are dealing what we are going to deal with if we accept the contract is uh, going to be bad people evil people. So well, I'm happy with that. Do we, we ask him if the group is slavers or anything? Do we, we did. Have him? What do you say? <laughs> he I he don't said think it, he, uh, well he said it wasn't pirates and he said it wasn't cartel. I don't okay. think we've are, are they slavers? I do believe they keep slaves, but uh, are they in the slave trade itself? I don't believe they act actively are. Well, they keep yeah. slaves. So How many ships beyond the ones well. that uh, you sold them do they have? That I have no knowledge of. That's fair. Leva is, um, is certain now. She, she wants to do it. Yeah, they, they and I want to do this too. She, she, she. That, that's all she's just heard. They keep slaves. Mm -hmm. And uh, one more thing. Uh, did were they known to have ships before they bought the ones from you? Yes. Okay. Oh well. And they have ogres and humans. You said, or what's there? To the best of our knowledge, yes. All right. 10,000, huh? Indeed. You wouldn't by any chance be willing to throw in uh, waving uh, fees from the arcane while we're here. Arcane facilities and such. I think that could be arranged. Uh, we could give you a writ that uh, allows uh, unlimited travel on the shuttles, uh, no further docking fees or storage fees. Obviously you understand that things such as the inns, the taverns, and casinos are... would not be covered. That's fairly... Yeah, that would That's be reasonably that's, good. That's very good. Um, alright, uh, if I accept this, would you guys be okay with that? I got, I'm, I got your back. I'm backing you on that. Yeah. All right. Reluctantly. Well, cross, cross your fingers, Braxton, that we didn't make a mistake. All right, we will take this deal. Uh, I also want uh, something that says that we're not liable or going to be charged with any crimes that we have to commit while against these people while we evict them. Of course. He actually just almost from uh, uh, thin air, although uh, Laftal, you're pretty sure magic wasn't involved, you know, being a thiefy type character. Uh, you think there was some sleight of hand. Um, a uh, uh, folded up document uh, hands it to you, uh, Hagamus, and says, this will cover all of your contingencies. Um, I will need to get one written up that covers your uh, travel on the shuttles and docking fees. Alright. And... These individual permanents, so it's a group, or is it like a... Is uh, it... This is, is it specific to the company of the broken sword, or this is this is uh, specific to the company of the broken sword uh, with regards to uh, your eviction of the occupants of the manor? I will make up so individual we'll... documents for each of you to show uh, for fees and shuttle usage. Thank we'll, you. we'll need we'll need some document to serve on the people being evicted. 
He points to uh, the one that he gave Higamus. That is it. Yeah, that'll count for that. Okay. It specifies immediate eviction. Thank you. Mountain, basically. Okay, sir. We will see what we can do. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I, I do not know where those dogs came from. Um, <laughs> can we, can we have can we have more than one copy of that notice in case they want Just in case. a copy? Just in no. case they decide to rip up the one we show them. If they rip up the one that you show them... They force them out. <laughs> then you know. I think you have their answer. True. That's very true. Okay. So a secondary copy is always useful, but... The gotcha. other writs will be downstairs when you leave, and I think that we, you can consider this uh, finalization of the ship sale. In fact, I will also allow you to uh, stay on board your vessel, uh, well, our vessel, uh, until the dolphin is delivered to the dock next to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, okay. Someone, Thanks. When you get the writs downstairs, you will also receive the directions to the manor. We would appreciate Thank you. you it, we would appreciate it if you uh, took care of this as swiftly as you could. Understood. Okay. We we'll make an initial assessment of the area immediately. Make an example. Yeah. Yeah. I'll head down there as soon as possible. All right. It's basically now. Uh, let me do a. All right. Well, uh, I think we'll call that an episode. You're gonna say twenty minutes later, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of negotiating there, but you know. Hey. Yeah. Uh, so I want to thank everyone for uh, playing, everyone out there for watching. I do appreciate it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And we will be back next week when we uh, see what the fallout of this is going to be. What what is actually going to uh, uh, this eviction is going to entail. I'm excited. So, <laughs> experience? Yes. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yes, experience. Uh, so, that is going to be... Uh, do, 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 uh, I did a lot of negotiating today. Yeah, that's a talk heavy. Okay. Uh, so, that is going to be 200 experience points for Higamus. 150 for Braxen. Uh, 100 for Yeldon, Leva, and Laftal, and 250 for Ocker. Oh. How much for us? Sorry, 100. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm 130 away. <laughs> no. <laughs> I did that purpose. Uh, n well, not directly. Um, I mean, you guys are are at the beginning of an adventure not the end of an adventure so you know there, there's there's no big lump of uh, adventure experience and you didn't fight anything so yeah you know well, but you got some role playing experience fire. that's always good anyway yeah. uh, i did a whole bunch of talking yep yep so uh thank you guys uh and we will return next week see you then thanks for having us thanks for the game